I'm Real Tuner Demon, and this is What's On The Tape, Season 6, Volume 12. Getting into them now, aren't we? Anyway, right, this week we've got, and better groan now because it's another Sony tape. Last week we had a Sony tape, and it was a complete disaster. It was almost 40, was it like 45 minutes of, of, of nothing really loading, one game? So, so I'm hoping... For better luck this time round. So we've got another Sony one. I was like, I like how clear it is. I've checked it. We've got spectrum noises, so that's a good start. We've got nothing on the cover. However, I can't help feeling that this could be the tape from last week. So I might get that out for actually when we do this. So, so, um, but yeah, that's that's the one. Last week I, I promised to put all the people's names into the into the thing who said it was an epic from the week before, and I forgot all about it. So, so you know who you are. Thank you very much for watching. You're all awesome. Anyway, um, without messing around any further, let's get this into a tape drive. Right, the tape is in the drive, I am. We're ready to go, so we'll go down the usual. We'll give it uh, basic, and we'll get load dit dit, or load speech mark, speech mark. So we'll push that button now, and we'll give it a go. Now, I'm worried that this is the tape from last week. Well, maybe not worried, but um, you know where it said uh, last week it had Spy Hunter. I've got it in front of me, actually. Robin of the Wood, Paradroid, Hacker, Gyroscope, um, Hypersports. Uh, the, the the other one, actually, to be fair, I've got to do you a little special, haven't I, on the, on the on those on those additional ones that I didn't actually get through last week. So we've got those to do as well at some point. But uh, we'll give it a try. And we'll see where we get to with this. Fingers crossed. Oh, that's a good start. Right, that's not. That's well, a good start until I said the word. It's a good start. I wonder if this is. I wonder if this is flying shark. I'm just gonna hang on. We'll just list it here and see if it's. See if it's flying shark. Yay, flying shark! What a good guess that was. Well, that's 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 all right. We'll start with that. We'll go with that. Let's do load it again. We'll push the button for flying shark. Oh, our fingers crossed. Can we get? We we'll, we'll could do with a good Sony tape. So far, we've not had much success. Any sort of the, the, the probably in the first one. We first one we had was a was a Sony tape. That that was a bit of a failure actually, wasn't it? it was a, and anybody who sat through those forty five minutes of last week of me trying to get it to load, really, really well done. That's brilliant. I can't believe how well you did there to, to go through that. Right, we're going to do a little cheat. We're going to get the old sensei out. We're going to do the we're going to do the sensei cheat. I think this works as well to some extent, and I know I know it could be it could be the head or whatever else is, but I think this sometimes works because it can I can turn the volume up a bit on it. I think that's a, I think that's a factor. I think turning the volume up can really really help out on the on on the whole thing. Look at that quick new, and we'll get load dip dip like that. I'll do that. So it's a lovely sunny day outside. It's beautiful. The sun's out. Um, it's it's roasting. I've cut the lawn, and now I've closed the curtains so I can do some <laughs> what's on the tape. <laughs> Did it as a kid. Do it as an adult. Can't stop me. Can't make me go outside, Mum. It's not happening. <laughs> Don't want to go out and play. I want my Spectrum on. <laughs> the Spectrum is a great thing. So, right, got that one. Here we go. Let's give this a try and see whether or not this is the change of the volume here will will help a little bit. I don't I don't know. Fingers crossed. It's quite loud. You can hear the background sort of noise there from it. No, that's not good. There we go. There's a little wobble though on the tape though there. Oh no, it's gonna go. It's gonna go for it. No, it's fine. We'll 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 we'll, we'll, we'll live with it if the, the if it's gonna play on the sensor. I actually have this one. It's got a picture. It's an arcade game conversion. I think it's um, Tato. Oh look, it's one of these searchy ones as well. Um, must have been with must have been published by uh, Firebird. And we discovered last week, wasn't it, with the plot that if it fails at any point, you can rewind it a little bit and play it again, and it does that that section. It means that you don't have to start the whole tape all over again, which is kind of a cool loader. I have to admit, I'm still I'm still quite impressed by that. I'm surprised more Spectrum things didn't do that. However, I do think they're quite slow loaders. I don't think they're fast loaders. These, I think these are quite slow in the way that they actually work but but it's it's interesting right so that tape thing that i was saying about the cover there the one with the enigma force and whatever else i mean to be fair last week did have enigma force when we finally got it to load that was the game that appeared in that 45 minutes of of of, of sheer um spectrum what's on the tape hell 
but it was. That was reminds me, almost reminded me back to those early days of thoughts of the tape where we just there were just disastrous sort of um, tapes that were just rubbish. I mean, remember there was one of them. Do you remember? Do you remember the one where I loaded the code? That was quite a clever one. So I couldn't get it to load the initial sort of da, da, you know the the da, 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 and then that was the initial loader part. It wouldn't do that. So I loaded the code and that, I've got the game actually. It was sent to me by somebody. It was really kind to them. In fact, it's, it's um, um, from from lovely Daryl. He sent that to me. So um, uh, he he sent me the game, but it would turned out to be a version of. I'm going to get this wrong. No, I'm not. I was going to say I was going to say um, Robotron there, but it's not Robotron. That was that was worrying for a minute there. It's not Robotron. It's um, it's it's Berserk. It's a version of Berserk because that's one room at a time, isn't it? Berserk, I think. Um, and you have to kill all the, the the mad robots, basically, all the crazy, crazy robots and whatever else it is. Is it just me? Anybody else seeing it on the screen? Maybe it's I don't know. I, I think they're meant to be bombs dropping out of the flying shark thing. But for me, just above the load, and I'm, I'm, I can't stop seeing it. The, the, there's like a the nose of a dog, and it's two eyes, and it's sort of like the humps of its of its of its sort of looks like a dog to me. I think they're meant to be bombs, but I, I'm absolutely convinced that's a dog now. Yeah, definitely Tato though. Tato arcade one. Um, Tato. Uh, uh, they're not. It's not. Uh, I'm trying to remember because I, I I've got I was playing the. Uh, um, I can't say it other than saying Tato. Tato Legends. There's two there's two discs that they did for the Xbox and the PlayStation Two. That's right. Trying to remember. I don't think they did it for the other any other format. And they basically have these arcade games. You get like about forty games on it, including sort of Rainbow Islands and and Bubble Bobble and a few other ones. And I'm not sure Flying Sharks on it actually, to be honest with you. And they say at the beginning, and it's like um, TTO or something like that. I think I'm getting it. We're getting it all wrong. I think uh, I think the the British pronunciation of Tato is 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 completely wrong. I think we're absolutely. I don't think we're even close to the way that that's pronounced in Japan. So so um, at some point I must find that and I'll, I will I will learn how to pronounce it correctly. But we are definitely pronouncing it incorrectly, or I'm pronouncing it incorrectly. Not everybody's pronouncing it incorrectly, but some people are. But this is a this I got a little bit of a a little I got a little bit of excited about. Um, Tato recently. I, I don't know why, but I, I felt the requirement to, uh, to to go out and buy more games that they had produced. I mean, because these guys did Arkanoid, as I say, they did all the, 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 the whole Bubble Bubble sort of thing. Did they do Rodlands? Because that was part of... That wasn't Bubble Bubble, was it? But, but it was very similar. I don't think they did. But either way, they had a they have a whole selection of um, shoot 'em ups as well and other things, because they're there responsible for Darius, I think it is, isn't it? Darius? Darius? Um, they're responsible for those. They're responsible for a whole bunch of shoot 'em ups and a load of classic arcade games. I mean, really, really, really quality arcade games. Um, and oh, we're there. We're there. We're there. We're there. Just rewind that tape a little bit. Right, flying sharks. Here we go. What do I do? One for keyboard. It's loading. It's got the music. One player. Player one, yes. One player, yeah, zero. What's my keys? Please be QAOP and space. That's fire. That's left and right. That's fire there. Right, okay. Let's have a little look. Let's see if we can get this. What's up and down? That's up. And that's that down. What's down? It's just going to be a naff key, I can tell. Ah! Right, okay. So you press 1 for, for whatever else. That's that's rubbish. Um, Let's put my name in. Ah, I can't spell my name. Look, easy. There we go. I'm easy today. Um, right, okay. Press... Yeah, great score. Thank you. It wasn't a great score. It was a terrible score. Let's put this in now. Let's do this. It's making a lot of fuss about that score. I want. Don't, I don't care about the score. <laughs> oh, we got. We got it in. Right. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. Right. Okay. L one was the. One was. One was the, uh, the. The. The play. 
If I was to play it, sorry, I'm move, just moving the, the the composite cable around. It was just a little. It's just making a little bit, a bit too much background noise for my liking today. There we go. That's better. Right. Okay. Let's press one again. Um, that play one. Zeros play. Left, right. Oh, was it the? Oh, right. Okay, it's the cursor keys. And oh, that's the bomb. If you hold it down, it's the bomb. So you tap the fire for the for the for the fire. And then you can hold it down for 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 bomb. I kept finding these keys absolutely horrible. I need to find a better set of forward and back keys. That's hold. Ah, what have I hit? I've hit a key. And I've paused it. Naff. Right, okay, that's fine. What's the what's the up and down? I need an up and down. That's a decent up and down. Oh, come on. There must be one here. And it's just there's too much flying around the screen for me to, to get through it quick enough. Oh, I'm not doing easy again. I'll just change it to something else. There we go. It's like another version of easy. Right, okay, let's try it again. See if I can find the keys. I'm tempted to go grab the box, actually, to be honest with you, because it's not too far away. I'll, I'll do a quick. I'll do a quick search on the internet. Let's find a quick search on the internet. It's the easiest answer. Let's try to find the keys. Let's try and find out what they are. So let's try find ZX Spectrum. That's Flying Shark, isn't it? That's right, Flying Shark. Let's just stick that in. Let's get the instructions for it. Always handy. Right, okay, Flying Shark. I did buy this one, I say I did buy this one recently. Let's have a little look at the controls. The controls are... Um, up is L, yep. Down is full stop, right, okay. Um, AS is left and right. Four is pause, and what's the fire? Fire is... Press 3 just beforehand to redefine the keys. Right, okay, I'll try and redefine the keys. 3, there we go, fire. Space. Up. That's handy. Didn't actually tell you what they were, though. No wonder I couldn't get the keys, though. Left, right. There we go, we're good, we're good. We're good to go now. Ha ha! Got some keys I can use. Here we go, right. That's better. Now we can finally play it. Cool. I did like. I do, I do like flying shot. As I say, I bought. I've bought this one. I got this original in the the, the double dual case. Um, I didn't have it back in the day, but it's not a bad little shoot 'em up. Um, it, it, it's. I've, I think I've played it on the 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 the. Um, I've played it on the the Amstrad CPC. The problem with the Amstrad, of course, Amstrad is it, it it's it, it's more of a Spectrum port than it is anything else. So it's a bit of a bit of a shame for the for the for the, for, for them. There we go. Double shot. Yay! Like a bit of a shoot 'em up. It's nice actually to be able to play it now, though. Especially when I know how to redefine the keys. You thought the menu would have flown across the bottom of the screen. I suppose that would have made it too easy for people who who got a special copy of things. You know, special the special stuff like we've got right now. It would have been too easy for them. I'm doing a lot better now. There we go. That's another shot. Triple shot now. Very nice. It's all that monochrome thing, though. They did this whole monochrome thing to kind of avoid colour clashing. And, and I guess with a lot going on on the screen here, it would make sense that that would be the best way to do this. But uh, I do kind of I do miss colours. I like, I like the Spectrum to kind of um, deal with its roots, deal with the fact that it's not there. I do I do, do often say that that's what I'd rather see. I'd rather see it doing the, the whole um, sort of, you know, uh, it's not brilliant, but it but it's, it's nice enough kind of approach to it. But... Uh, this one plays really well. Well worth having. I've got like a little triple fire going on now because I've got the, the shot all the way up to the top so it's like it goes one, two, three. I can see it. It's like, and then widens out, which is really handy. I'm doing really well. I'm usually rubbish at shoot ups. I like shoot ups, but I'm rubbish at shoot ups normally. This one's going quite well, actually. Didn't expect to play so well. I do think I've got a boss. There's a boss. That's a boss without a doubt. Oh, I got him. Use the bombs on him. 
hold down that fire button and you get the bombs. I wonder if we land at a certain section. Do you ever remember, if you remember Afterburner, um, after you'd done the mission, you had to like land on the carrier or in the desert somewhere. It was kind of cool. I do like that remake they did though for the for the PlayStation 3 and uh, Xbox 360. That was a really good remake. I think we're probably going to have to land here. There we go. I've come to land. I can't, I can't actually do anything. There we go. Bonus as well. Brilliant. I like the biplane feel about it actually. That's kind of cool, isn't it? I like the biplane. plane. Got a lot of music going on. We're going to skip that and we're going to fly to the next place. Here we go. And we're off. Still got all my gunfire as well. That's excellent. Wow. Oh, we got something loaded, by the way. You're 14 minutes in and you haven't. Well, just over 14 minutes in and you've, you've actually got a game for a change. That's amazing. Plenty going on here. Right, shoot these guys, they'll have some specials. Extra bonus thousand points, liking that. Like little tank boats, aren't they there? A lot easier to see. Reminds me of uh, 1942, it's another favourite of mine. I really like 1942. Um, oh, don't, no, got away! Yeah, in fact, even for this level's kind of 1942-esque in, the, in, its, uh, in its, its nature there. Oh, down one single fire. Yeah, I've got it though, double, double fire. Yeah, fire into that. Pounding it. There's something coming up behind me. Not having that. There you go, got past you. Yeah, non-242, I think the first level is a plane, is a, is a, is a couple of ships. I'm sure it is. Or maybe that's, the, I'm thinking of the wrong one. Might be wrong. Oh, it's kind of plays really well, this. Get well into it. <laughs> I was thinking back this morning about uh, sort of Spectrum setups when I was a kid. Um, when we first got the Spectrum, it was seen as a, a house computer, a computer for the whole family. It wasn't seen as sort of my computer, my Spectrum. It was bought, purchased for the family to for us all to, to sort of get involved with. And I remember my dad, um, he had a friend who was kind of into the early days of sort of computers and whatever else, and he came around with a few things, including an apricot. Now, I've not seen an apricot in years. Um, and it, was, it had the sort of orange screen as well that went with it. I remember that. And um, it wasn't really. It was more of a business computer than it was a was a was a gaming machine or whatever else. It's like the Spectrum ended up being. Um, um, and I remember sort of seeing that and thinking that was kind of cool. But uh, that was really good. I enjoyed that game, by the way. Uh, it was really cool. Um, let's get let's get my name in properly now because because we've got a proper score. So let's get the name in properly. Let's go for it. Yeah, I remember seeing it and thinking it was quite impressive. I quite liked it, and we knew we knew that that point in the eighties that that the you know computers were going to be really important. You know, the future sort of everything realistically computers are going to be involved, and we kind of made sense that at that point. Um, but but the first, as I say, the first Spectrum we had was literally not a Spectrum for for um, you know me specifically. It was for the family, and it was it was put in the in the in the front room. And it was hid underneath the. Um, I had a little alcove with the television on. Um, wasn't particularly large tell you if I remember rightly. It was black and white at the time. Um, and we used a little alcove for it, and it was to be under this little alcove. And uh, you, I used to have to get it out, and I was allowed a whole hour on the spectrum um, uh, in the evening before. But 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 what time was it? Sort of about four, 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 four. four sort of between four and five maybe five and six sometimes um, I was allowed a whole hour on the spectrum and most of that time you know initially it was sort of programming and doing all the bits and pieces that went went with it I think that was just the end of the tape there um, you know sort of programming and doing bits and pieces with it and learning with it and use it as an educational tool and all that and some time for some playing some, 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 some spectrum games and that I played I remember playing Attic Attack it was the first time I sort of played Attic Attack at home and that was on that sort of that kind of setup where we used to get it out put it in and um, it wasn't until oh Rastan cracking game um, anyway it um, wasn't until later on that uh, that, that uh, I sort of was allowed to have it in my bedroom because it re we realised that realistically it wasn't it was, a, it was something I was using and um, why for else it was, we moved house at that point in time and I kind of moved it into my bedroom and I had a colour telly by then as well it was a kind of played with a, but no actually it was a black and white one initially a little little tiny little I'm, I'm sure it was I'm sure it was only a, I don't think it was 14 inch I think it was 12 
12 inch screen, 11 or 12, whatever the standard was at the time, as long as you tuned in with the dial on the side of it, loved that black and white telly, with mono and, and everything, a brilliant telly, used to take it to university and all kinds of stuff, and, and I just, I thought it was a, I was, it was just an amazing little, little, little unit, and, 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 I kind of watched. I used that for a very long time until until finally, um, some point. I know uh, it wasn't that one I took the university. It was something else I took the university. But but either way, um, I used to I used to have that little this little telly, this little black and white one, and then it moved on to uh, uh, a a full color sort of you know uh, fourteen inch um, TV, which I had for a very long time actually. I met when I met my my um, um, then girlfriend, um, now wife. Um, we we had it then. That was the that was what she had a portable color a little bit the color portable and I had a little color portable and that was uh, we we did, you know I think mine was mine was the fancier too because I had a, I had a remote control so mine went in sort of our front room in our first little flat that we shared together which was kind of cool so but but yeah that was that was the first little sort of telly I had and I had PlayStation One on that and everything it's kind of cool but. Yeah, the, the, those, those, that kind of where the settings came for me. I mean, I, I don't know where you had your spectrums first set up. I'd like to love to know actually in the comments below because 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 it, for me it's kind of the the whole experience of going through the the eight bit generation was really about how, uh, the, the the you know the sound, the mood, and whatever else that goes with it. And one of all those things is kind of where it was positioned and and sort of you know how it ended up in you know if it ended up in your bedroom or whether it ended up somewhere else. I had a friend. His 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 spectrum. Um, his parents were, you know, convinced it was like you know the future and obviously a business machine and all this. And dad was going to use it for his business, and he never did. And it and it was actually set up as like a proper desk in his room and all this kind of stuff. Same friend that I discussed last week, you know, the one with lots of <coughs> special versions of things. But they had a proper desk and, t and you know and a color telly and all kinds of stuff. And they, they, he he very much sort of you know he he had they they felt that that was going to be the future and that that's what he needed a desk and whatever else. Is. I mean, nowadays I have a proper desk for all my sort of stuff, but but, I'm, but I am the adult now. But my daughter, you see, this is the thing, we've got, you know, future here. I was just about to suck my coffee and I have to stop to, to, to talk to you. But my daughter, for instance, she's got her own little, uh, her own, I say her own little bedroom, it's bigger than my bedroom, to be honest with you. But but by the time we, we put, we went in the back, because, you know, you do these things as parents, don't you? You go in the back because the boiler was in there. You know, you don't want to leave small children sleeping in, so she's ended up with a larger bedroom than two, which is fine. But but she has she she has her own. We we made sure she got her own desking space, so she's got her laptop set up on there. Um, she's got her, her PlayStation three, four, no four, PlayStation four set up on there. She's she's got oh, searching for round for a round. Oh, cool. Right, I don't know how this is going to work though, because we're going to have to fast forward through some of these if we don't do these things. Anyway, Rastan, I was playing this the other day, but um, yeah, but she's got her PlayStation 4, she's got a laptop, um, and she's even got one of my Xboxes up there, because she absolutely loves Fable, so she's playing um, Fable on the Xbox, and that's a classic game. Um, that really is, I mean, Fable, it's lost its way after 3, from my point of view. I mean, uh, it, the, the, it was such a rewarding game to play, I really liked that. I mean, uh, the, 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 I remember Fable 2, I had... Uh, how many wives was it? I had seven wives and fourteen children. Because, as you do, <laughs> could have them were all the towns, but I kept them all happy. You know, they were very, they were very happy with me. So, so it's very, it's very weird. I think you can have a husband as well. So, so it's not, no, not, not it's just the fact that I had wives. So, so, so. but, uh, but, stop the tape. Stop the tape. I've stopped the tape. Stopped. That's the key. Right, Rastam. Rastan, the Warrior King. I have this. Um, it's got a beautiful, I think it's a Bob Wakelin cover actually. A beautiful picture of Rastan hacking his way through a, a lizard man. Um, uh, it's very Conan the Barbarian. It's based on an arcade game by Tato again. Tato, we see. Told you they're, they're, a, good, they're a good brand. Um, I've been looking for them for the DS actually, the, the, the Nintendo DS, but good brand. Anyway, these these boys made some great games, and Rastan is this sort of thing, a story of a, a barbarian fighting his way across the land to kill the, the evil um, prince, uh, 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 prince, real evil wizard, wizard king, or whatever else he is. But it's a kind of, it is, it's literally but Conan the Barbarian, but uh, I mean, even his head's got the little um, Conan the Barbarian style thing on it. Quick sup of coffee before we go on. Oh, I love coffee. Ah, oh, it's best. Right, keyboard. I'm going to hope that it's QAOP and whatever else it is. But we're going to start. So, this is Rastan. I rather liked Rastan, actually, back in the day. Ah, that's quit. 
Let's see if we can find the chop. That's left and r that's left and right. What's chop? That's chop. Yeah, okay, so Rastan is, this is Rastan, and basically Rastan is um, a little warrior king, and we go along the levels, hacking things to pieces. I kind of like the Spectrum version. I did play the um, Commodore 64 version recently, but I'm, I've got a real fondness for this one, because I actually remember buying this myself. I don't know how I picked that up. Pick it up, Rastan. Oh, Rastan won't pick it up for me. All right, now down here, if I remember rightly, there's an axe. Yeah, there we go. We've got, now we've got the axe. Do you see it? We've got the axe. Uses the old monochrome thing. I know there's some little bit of touches here to try and not do it, but I remember it being very tough, though. Um, especially on the Spectrum. Very quiet, though. No sound. It seems we're, we're, not, at, we're not allowed sound on the Spectrum. Maybe it's because I'm running it on the... Uh, the uh, I've loaded it on the... Um, 100, uh, 48k version instead of the... 100k... To be fair, the levels are pretty correct. Um, though the, the very similar to the arcade version. I don't know how you pick these things up, though. I'm really annoyed. I don't. I don't want to press the space bar because that's the one. That one kills me. So and there's Rastan's health at the bottom with his heart beating. I don't think that appeared on the on any other version of the Spectrum, actually. To be fair. There we go. We're swinging. Ah, long fall. Oh, well, we'll just go this way. We'll hack our way through them all. I rather liked it because the huge sprite, when we played it back in the day, it was kind of cool. I thought the sprite was awesome. There's a sort of chimera things. and They look like more like dogs in this, but uh, they're more chimera. There's the lizard men, by the way. There we go. And you just make it to the end of the level, smashing your way through it all. No, that's that. That's basically the game. Um, if I can get it through the level, we'll we will we will be able to see the next stage. Smashing our way through. I'm kind of not even messing. I'm not even. I'm messing. I'm not even messing around with them. I'm just smashing my way through them all. Oh, dropped on the death death pool. Where are we now? Please don't say we're right back at the beginning. We're not back at the beginning. Thank goodness for that. It does have a bit of a tendency to send you right by back. There is a modern day version, I would say, of Rastan now called something the Var uh, Barbarian. Um, Volks so the Vi Var uh, Barbarian? Uh, the Viking? Or something similar? Oh, I'll have to remember its name. Anyway, um, it, it's, a, it's a sort of modern day version of this and it's rock hard. It really is. It's not... It's not it doesn't mess around. It doesn't mince its. Uh... Come on! Ah, damn! Can't do that. Can't do that. Now I was told on the Commodore 64 version that Rastan is unfinishable on the Commodore 64 because there is an impossible jump on the on one of the, the later stages, which then doesn't allow you to do it. So you'd either have to put some kind of trainer in it, the code that would allow you to pass that particular impossible section, or um, that was it. You'd 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 had it, which is, seems a bit harsh, really. Here we go. Got three three Rastans left. Yeah, a bit harsh. Can you imagine having a game where you got? Mind you, that happened with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, didn't it? For the for the for the NES, the NES version of the uh, the, the the Nintendo Entertainment System version of it didn't did it also had. Um, an unfinishable level, I believe. I love the way the things are following me along. The magic star, the the, the magic stars. <laughs> I don't know what game I'm playing there. Magic stars. The sort of bits that when they're shooting them, they they kind of fly along and chop chop. I think this is level end. Yay! Now load. All right, push the play button. I didn't know if this was going to work or not, but we've got to round B, so let's just do it. I've forgotten what my keys are already. Can't believe it. Round B, we're on the way. I forgot it was a multi-loader. I wonder if on the 128 it fully loads. I, I tried this the other day with um, with Target Renegade. I'd forgotten about Target Renegade. It's a multi-loader if you load it in 48k. However, if you load it in 128k, 
um, it loads the whole game at once, so the whole thing loads. Um, I, I've, I've also, I've also, uh, it probably be up yesterday, actually, to be honest with you, if you're watching this, or it will be up soon if it isn't up already. Um, I played Streets of Rage, the first one, with my daughter for the first time as well, and just thinking of Target Renegade and that sort of style of, of fighting game. Um, but Target Renegade and, and, and is, is kind of a classic for me. It's you know two player Target Renegade. It's just a, it's just brilliant with two with, with friends. Um, game. I think I'm gonna have to get my daughter on. I think she might enjoy that actually. To be honest with you. But we played Streets of Rage recently, um, and Streets of Rage is really really good. Um, um, and, she, and, and I've forgotten I'd forgotten about the end of it as well. Oh, I would like you get to continue from the same point because we've already got there. So here we go. Up we go. There we go. And we're chopping these guys here. There we go. And we're going up. And then here we go. Chop, chop, chop. All the way up. There we go. Okay. Okay. And up we go. And we're going along. Okay. And we're going along. There must be some secret rooms here, to be honest with the way it look, looks. I don't, I don't, I don't know what the the secret rooms are. I've never been through these before. I'll go this way and straight across. Can I go straight across? Oh, I could jump off it. Ah, fire pit! I <laughs> ran it straight into the fire pit. <laughs> oh, what an idiot! I can't believe I did that. So silly. Running straight into it. I like the colouring. It looks good actually. It looks really good. I like the way the background is. Okay, up we go. See how the, the, they've got the they've got the sort of you see funnily enough the grey is actually white on the spectrum. That's what the background is by default. And that's bright white. This is bright white at the back, so 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 you can kind of see. And they've made a good attempt though with the with the colouring and the and the colour clash to, to to make the two things work, haven't they? It's kind of nice. Fair. Rastan's got some. So he's got some lovely sprites in here with those guys. They're a bit weird. The ones that are all in the black though. There, they don't look so brilliant. I do like the heart though. Sort of beating away. Oh, we can jump off here. I can. Yeah, we go. Got that now. We've got the Rastan's got his new sword. This is like a big swingy one. Look at that. It's a mace. Okay, we're going up. Right, we need to jump on this thing here to get across the water. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I didn't get on it. I didn't get on it. I'm not going to be doing very well as a warrior king here if I can't get over a fiery pit. Kind of reminds me as well a little bit of. I mean, I do like this one, and there's, there's a there's a good there actually is a good Conan game that are featured at the the PlayStation Three and uh, Xbox Three Sixty stage, um, which was actually called Conan. It was really quite a good game. Lots of um, chopping of arms and limbs, and it was based entirely upon the, the the Conan thing. It's quite a good one actually, to be honest with you. Well worth having a l little look at that one. Yeah, I've got that. There we go. Look at the thing, the bat's just following me, tracking me, my every move, look at it, just sticking with me, 100% flying up, okay, we're going up, we're jumping over, right, okay, Rastan, why didn't it hit the, the rope, damn, that's naff, not happy with that. I'm not happy with the noise background, the background noise and that. Sorry about this. Sometimes, sometimes it's fine and sometimes it's not. That's better. Right. Okay. Let's uh, skip on. Um, this is going to be interesting though because we're going to have to sort of skip through levels. I don't remember how many levels Rastan had actually. To be honest with you, can't remember. May have had loads. May have had none. We'll we'll see. Well, I say none. You know, two or three. Could have had. Could have had a few. Can't see what I've typed wrong. There we go. Loaded it. Right. Okay. Let's press the play button. It's a good one though, Rastan. It was a good one. Mm -hmm. 
Right, that's data. Fast forward. Like, that could be just data. Let's see if this is data for Rastan again. Maybe just data. Yeah, more data for Rastan. Come on, Rastan. That was a good one, though. We got another one loaded straight away. We have not we've not done badly here. Well, we've had Flying Shark, haven't we? We've had Rastan. We've got not we've done not to. Sometimes these things can be very hit and miss, as we all know. I mean, but you never know entirely what's going to get on the tape, and it's it's been all right so far. I keep cursing myself, don't I? I keep saying these things like it's going to be all right. We're going to manage okay and things like that. I've had a few requests as well from on my my page. I try, I do my best to try and do all the videos that are uh, that the people ask for. Um, it was for some more Euro Truck Simulator. And I do enjoy Euro Truck Simulator. It's one of my my sort of it's one of my chill out games there's a few things that are chill out games i do like that retro wave if you haven't watched that one watch that one that's a real chill out game that that kind of it's arcadey but it's chill out if that makes sense you can actually make it easier for yourself to make it a lot sort of easier to to, to generate more cash i have spent and i can't believe how long i spent i spent nine and a half hours on the game that i only bought a few days ago um which it's it's pure pro pro purpose is to sort of dodge in and out of traffic a full it's not a racer because you're not racing anybody it's just against it's just you versus the traffic on the road at the high speeds you know the faster you go the more points you generate that's as simple as it is so 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 i quite enjoyed that one but uh, euro truck is definitely my my go-to um sort of uh, chill out chill out game it's a bit like so i like juggernaut you see because juggernaut was one of the first sort of ones where it was that kind of delivery kind of thing as well there's juggernaut and then of course there's elite with the whole idea is simply to, to deliver stuff from point a to b okay fair enough for elite. you could uh, shoot spaceships down but but let's be honest you, you know I, I i did a lot of delivery more than anything else i think i would have been an elite trader around other than a, an elite whatever else is. However, saying that, I spotted on um, GOG recently. I like GOG for, for things. I spotted on GOG recently um, uh, um, a game called Privateer, Privateer 2, in fact, um, which is which has stars Clive Owen, of all people, um, John Hurt um, from, from 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 good old um, Aliens fame or Alien fame. Well, you remember he was the guy who went and popped out his chest, and and uh, and and Danny Bear, who was who was a, I, I guess she was she was a model at the time. Um, she was she she she's the voice of the computer, which is really quite nice because she's got a, a gravelly voice as well. So she's quite quite sexy, really. Let's let's be honest, it's quite a sexy voice, and she was quite sexy at the time as well. She's not not so much so nowadays. I, I googled her the other day because because. Uh, because my, I used to play um, Privateer um, when I was with first with my wife, and uh, we we used to, I used to and she used to always laugh because the computer was always going destination selected, which is the the big thing that uh, that the, the computer used to do. So and that's the voice of Danny Bear, um, but she used to laugh about that. But I was I was I, I googled her for the other day for her because I said I'd bought it on on GOG, and it was like I was I was like I was like yeah, but you see her now. She's not she's not quite. Uh, time hasn't been as kind to her as to be honest with you. I think I think she had a bit of a, a one of them. Um, I don't know lives where you spend a lot of time I don't know, snorting cocaine and kissing boys or whatever she did so, <laughs> that's very polite wasn't it <laughs> I don't think that's the case <laughs> before anybody sues me <laughs> I, don't, I don't know whether she did or she didn't all I know is that she seemed to have one of them rock star style lives that's the words I was looking for rock star style but that was a good game as well because but that was you were uh, in that the dif the big difference for that was you were uh, you were a uh, you were a fighter more than you were anything else so you were actually a a, a, a jet fighter in the whole thing you you had this is another Tato game what this guy loves his Tato games um don't think I've played this one before um but anyway uh, yeah you, in that you're not jet fighter you were a space fighter in the Wing Commander universe if you've not played Wing Commander it's a good saga. It's about uh, uh, basically an Earth versus cat race war called the Kilrathi, um, and the Kilrathi. Uh, are, 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 it's it's good actually because it was one of these games that had an ending and whatever else it's in there. I remember playing it on a 386, and it was flipping amazing. The space combat was brilliant. Um, 
Uh, it was really, really good indeed. Um, anyway, uh, you, and it continued on, and then we had Mark Hamill in the third one, I think it was. Number three was, was a live-action video thing with Mark Hamill as the star. Anyway, they also did this privateer at the same time, which is the sort of same sort of thing. But in the privateer, as I say, you kind of haul cargo from point A to point B. Um, well, you protect it. You're the fighter that protects it. And in that one, you're mercenary. But I still like that one because... You can still build a, a small ship of your own. You can still haul... Because they're fighters, you can small, haul a small amount of cargo as well. So you can actually have a, a, a cargo ship, but it's not quite the same. You start with a fighter, to be honest with you. You get this little fighter, that's all you can do. So you get your money from, from hunting bounties and doing other bits and pieces. But it's got a great story with them. It's really... It's really of its time, but it's 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 good. I quite like it, to be honest with you. There's a there's a there's a, a persistent story there that's going, and of course you you play Clive Owen as the the privateer. It's it's good. It's called the Darkening, by the way. It's uh, it's, it's got a some dark things happening in the world, but uh, cool, very cool indeed. And John Hurt's the uh, the the bartender, which which is also cool, and he kind of speaks with a fe- weird kind of Yoda style language. It's kind of good. <laughs> and when he asks you when you want something he always goes he goes you want the gumbo and you it's like no no I don't want the gumbo no you want the gumbo you know so, so, so when he's offering you food he's like you want the gumbo <laughs> it's a good game well worth looking at if you haven't played it I do recommend it it's only like it's like a pound on on uh, on um on GOG, if you if you can be bothered to buy it, pay, pay a whole pound for it. It's quite nice graphics for the time as well. I think it's mid nineties, so it's not awful. It's not brilliant. It doesn't require a lot of power. That was when they were obsessed by uh, using the power of the CPU to, to to do the stuff. There wasn't an awful lot in the way of graphics cards. They were around, but they they it was the power that you were harnessing were real realistically was the CPU at the end of the day. This is the sort of four eight six days, the early Pentium days, and the early birth of the Voodoo cards. You know, three D FX. Is 3D cards. Remember 3D effects? They're still around, I think, aren't they? And they're part creative. Maybe wrong. Sup of coffee. Right, Legend of Cage. I have no idea what this is. This sounds like an arcade game, probably from, I would have thought, 85. This is 86. Possibly. Right, okay, let's have a little look at this. Keyboard control. Care for keyboard. Yeah, it's already set on keyboard. One or two player, one player, enter to play, enter. Can I press two? Oh dear. It looks like we have hung. S for Sinclair, we got we got to the loading screen and we have well and truly hung. Because we've got a little we had a little list, didn't we, from last week that we didn't get. We didn't get to. Let's see what we've got on that list. I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the list. You just stay there. I'm gonna grab the list. I'm getting bad at this sort of listing. What do we have on there? Hyper Sports and Grizor from last week. That's what we had. Hyper Sports and Grizor. We will, ha- I will have to do. I mean, it wasn't. I, 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 I probably said that I was gonna do an extra. So I haven't had time to do an extra this week, as I say. I did a bit of um, Euro Truck. What I'll do is I'll add this to the list. Um, if you've if you've played Legend of Cage, let me know. Um, it sounds like one I should try on the the arcade if I can if I can find it if I can find a name for it. It sounds like something I should give a try to. I'll add it to the list, and what we'll do is we'll we'll put that in there. That's th- three games that, that that haven't failed to work. That's a bit of a shame, actually. I'm a bit disappointed by that one. I was looking forward to trying that one out. I wonder if it had multi levels though. We'll find out in a second when we give it a reset on the spectrum. I can't get anything to work. Look, KJ. Oh no! Hang on! It's moved. Oh, maybe it's just being slow. Oh, hang on, slow. We're there. Oh, look, it's sort of very Chinesey. Sort of a little princess there. Okay, let's. That's left and right. What's up and down? That's me firing. There's up. Wow, I can't have jump. Wow. Right. Okay, so I'm a little little dude at the bottom. These are little ninjas, obviously. And they're... Wow, they're crazy ninjas. They are some crazy ninjas. Alright, so we don't need to do Legend... We don't need to do Legend of Cage. What's this jumping through the trees thing? It reminds me of something else. and I can't remember its name. It was a ninja game. Very similar. Um, I'm not talking Shinobi here. Because Shinobi's kind of similar in that sense. Wow, this is super hard. Could have... Could have done with... Uh, we'll keep them up here. By running on. I'm going to run on. 
I'm just gonna keep firing my 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 shuriken. Ah, oh, he got me. I'm gonna play again now. So I'm chasing the princess, and she's been grabbed. Oh, she's been kidnapped. I'm rubbish body. If I'm a bodyguard, I'm rubbish at it. I'm a rubbish bodyguard. So I'm guess I'm rescuing the princess. Right. So if I can kind of wait the timing out here. Oh damn you! That horrible ninja got me. So I'm kind of filling up a bar at the bottom of the screen as well. I'm not sure what that's for, but we're filling it up. Let's keep running on. On we go. Oh, he's got me. I tell you what, I can see though. There's a little. Looks like there's a little cheat here. I think if these two that come behind me here to begin with, uh, they're not behind me. Those ones aren't the ones behind me. My lives are at the bottom of the screen. They're the, 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 the little circles. There, there. Do you see these two? Right. See, I've got them like there. That seems to hold the screen free. Look. So it stick, stops them going anywhere. So it looks like we've got a bit of a cheat going on here. Let's let's let those little ninjas. Oh, now they're firing though. As long as they don't fire at me directly, I think I'm all right. I may have to kill a certain number though. I think that's what the, the pink bar thing is for. Let's jump up. Look at them coming at me. Oh, I can climb the trees. I've just realised I can climb trees. Right. Okay. So, so we are moving across the level at speed. I'm not sure what we're doing. I think I'm meant to be killing ninjas. No. Right. So there's like a ninja bar to kill at the bottom. So maybe I just have to kill the ninjas. So if I just oh shum, sugar. What was my fire button there? I've lost my fire button. I thought that. Was I thought that was my fire button. Oh, there it is. Oh, damn you. So there's like a little bar full of ninjas. So there's like a bar for ninjas at the bottom. Right, I, I, I think we can do this. If we can, if we can cheat, a, cheat a little bit by pulling them back and forward on each other a little bit. So we move him back like that. And if I move him like that, that's ninja bar full up. Look, ah, you, damn you, got me with a shuriken. Shuriken. Oh, it's getting me. Oh. No music either. This is another one of them quiet ones. No, just annoying. It's like the Tato Legends of Spectrum games, this one. Was there a Tato? Oh, that's a thought. Oh, look. That's the boss! So I've got to beat those guys, and then you get the boss. So you basically, there's the little princess. She gets grabbed. I'm guessing you need a bodyguard or a boyfriend or something like that. Probably bodyguard actually is more the more likely the story. So basically, I have to defeat. Um, I guess it's, is it ten? Ten ninjas, and then the big boss turns up, and he's he's like he's like not happy because he's a he's a he's a he's a Ninja, fat dude, samurai type thing, and then him. He fires fire. Oh, you got to be kidding! Let me guess. I have to start that all over again. Yeah. Yeah. He can jump straight up and down while breathing a fire breath. That's harsh. I wonder what it's like on the arcade. I wonder how accurate it is to the arcade. Now, in, in you know, obviously, uh, substituting sound and, and graphics, I wonder how the gameplay was as rough as this is, in the sense of, you know, how hard it is actually to do a thing. Hmm. Yeah, Legend of Cage. Strange. <laughs> Not played that one before. Well, it's probably Gage. I bet we're pronouncing it incorrectly again. Right, okay, on we go. Let's get this loaded. Let's push the button. Let's press the play button. We're a good halfway through the first side of the tape, which is a good sign. That's an excellent sign. In fact, we've done quite well. We've got we've had a quite a few loads there. As I say, it seems to be the Tato classics here. We've had we've had we've had obviously we've had Rastan on there, and we've 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 had we've had Flying Shark, and now we've had um, the, the the Legend of Cage. <gasps> oh, another beautiful game. This is. This, this, the this loads. This is one of this is. I was just talking about Target Renegade. This is the greatest arcade conversion that's better than the arcade ever, without a doubt in my mind. This is the 
I have played I've played the arcade version of this of this game I've played the Master Sift version I've played a couple of other versions of it um, I've played it on other systems I think I've played the um, Amstrad CPC version but I don't think I've done a video on it for my for my channel um, I have played the um, I should, should have put it on 128k and done the music shouldn't I Oh, it's too late now. We'll just do it, do it, do it, do it without because the hundred and ten k the music's got excellent music. Um, but this is one of the just one of the greatest Spectrum games ever. It really is. It's absolutely fantastic. It is. It's a. It's a conversion of the arcade that comes out better than the arcade. In my my humble opinion. I, I I genuinely believe that this this is comes out better and works better and plays better and is much more fun to play than the arcade was. The arcade was fine. Don't get me wrong. Um, it's got weird controls. You've got left and right fighting. So when you're fighting left and right, um, doesn't matter which direction you're facing. There's like left and left left attack and right attack. Um, and then I think jump, and and it's just a bit of a weird combination because you you're like, well, why can't I just attack left when I'm facing left and attack right when I'm facing right? And if I push um, back direction in the way I'm going, just all of a sudden I'll do an elbow or back kick. You know, it doesn't it doesn't make sense. It's kind of a bit of an odd one that it doesn't, and it's really sad that it doesn't make sense. And it's another Taito game actually, but I, I, as I say, I'm, I'm surprised the arcade version isn't quite as good as the, the Spectrum version. The Spectrum version just blows everyone out of the way. It just, it really does. This is one of the, this is a quality, quality effort from uh, the Imagine guys. Brilliant, brilliant conversion. Um, absolutely brilliant. I really love it. I think it's, I think it's fantastic. And, and I mean, that loading screen is great. Um, Bob Light Wakeland front cover, I think, again. I think Bob Wakeland did all the front covers, did he not? <laughs> did a lot of them. Very popular. Great artist, fantastic artist. Sadly missed. Uh, sadly missed. 1987. I'm, I'm telling you, this must be the this must be the Tato collection that's on here. Everything's Tato. Somebody somebody's almost read my mind this week. As I say, I bought bought a few games. Um, got a few others that were were were, uh, were, were similar. I'm trying to look for there's some. The, apparently, there's some games by uh, um, a developer called Cave out there as well. And Cave did a lot of shoot 'em ups for for arcades. Very good shoot 'em ups, to be honest with you. Very, you know, the, a huge number of excellent shoot 'em ups. I also got that there is a company called. Oh, I'm trying to find the name because I can't pronounce it. Sayoko, I think it is Psycho, Sayoko. Um, so they make some lovely shoot 'em ups as well. They're responsible for um, Gunbird, and well, oh, I'm trying to think of the names of the other ones. It doesn't really matter. They, they just do some good shoot 'em ups. If you look for their sort of, if you Wikipedia that particular Sayoko people, they do they do do some uh, fantastic ones. And I got the Switch version. I had those ordered pre the, the lockdown, so I was quite delighted with them. They arrived just. Before that, before actually, it was about a month before I got those, and they, they came. Um, I had to go to them abroad because that's the nature of the beast. But thankfully, thankfully, the Switch is region free, which is a brilliant, brilliant choice from 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 Nintendo. So you can you can buy from abroad. There are some games that I really want, but I'm I'm not going to pay the the full price for them. I want. I was looking at um, Stardew Valley for the physical release of Stardew Valley, which is available. It's over 120 pounds. That's that's you know, and that doesn't include tax and delivery. That and so so it's a bit a bit of a I don't know it's a bit a bit of a misnomer. It's because we're it's because us in the West unfortunately are doing more digital than we do physical, and and as a result I think we're really missing out. I think with I think I think I think if you like to collect that's a shame. My room's full of collecting bits, you know, and uh, and I just think we're missing out. But, uh, I think I say this every week. I do. Sorry, <laughs> we'll go on to something else. Big question is, have you cut your lawn? Because I've cut my lawn. Pause H. I always use H for hold. Do you get that one? H for hold. There's the music. Brilliant. Right, okay, that's the big boss. So we have to clear up all the henchmen. Before we before we before we finish up the boss. Here we go. Here we go. 
Right, so you got to knock them down. Once you've knocked them down a few times, though, you can you can you can you can get on top of them and and knock them out. If I can get on him, no, missed him. Right, okay, flying kick. Here we go, and the the, the level goes over a couple of screens. So if you're very if you're clever with your your manoeuvres, for instance, you can kick these guys. If I can get him to do it. Knock him off the edge, just like that, and away he goes. Brilliant game. Absolutely fantastic. And that's him down. And then you can knee him in the, the, the bots it. And you got to watch these guys with the... And the boss comes alive at a certain point. Nah, he's, he's not down yet. He's not down yet. And boss kicked. And bosses are bad. Bosses are bad because they don't always get knocked down by the, by the, by the thing. You got to be careful of these guys. It's all walking on the planes thing, you know. Walking just being a bit, bit, bit above them or a bit below them. Boss has got me. Okay. Off you go. Oh, I thought he was going to go off the edge there. No, oh, I'm going off the edge. I don't want to go. Don't kill me. Dave Bertel is an amazing player. This Dave Dave plays retro games badly. He's he's an absolute star at this. It's this is this is his jam, as they say. He can still finish it in 20 minutes. I've only a certain length of time left. I'm going too slowly. Oh, I'm down. Time up and I lose life. Doodle -doo -doo, doodle -doo -doo. I'm going too slowly. I'm too. I'm, I'm being. I'm being too cautious. Yeah, I'm being too cautious. I'm being too cautious. I should be. Should be just smashing their faces in right now. There's one down. I remember buying this for the first time. I got the. I didn't get the Hit Squad version. I actually got the original. Of this. Um, and I, I was I was chuffed to pieces with it. I thought it was brilliant. Right, get these guys down quick. We've got to go faster. There's another one down. There's one down. And the conversion to 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 the 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 the, the, um, the, the, the new version, the 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 target renegade is just brilliant. It's an absolutely fantastic fantastic sort of conversion to the whole thing it's it's a brilliant version of the game that's him down right I need to kick the, need to get need to get the guy away from him that's that's next to the boss ah that's it Oh no, boss has got me! Down! Do, 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 do. I'm still crap at it, unfortunately. Sometimes I'm good enough at it, but sometimes I'm not. Oh, are we hung? Oh no! Specky go pop! Specky go hung! Do you remember those days when the Spectrum used to do this? You used to get something and then it would just stop. I mean, graphically, it's a stunning game. It looks just brilliant. They really, they really did went well on it, and it looks great. And and the arcade actually has nothing on the Spectrum version. The Spectrum version is by far the best. Anyway, I'm gonna reset it now. Oh, I can't believe it when Specky went pop. Specky went pop. They do that though. I remember that. You just have a game on and you'd be dead chuffed and you'd be loading it. Do you remember that leaving the game on through your dinner? You'd go for your tea or whatever else it is and you know you'd you'd, 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 uh, you'd leave the spectrum on just so that you could you could you could continue on afterwards and that would be it, you know. Mom I gotta leave it on You know, that kind of thing. You know, just just sort of leave it on so that you can play it afterwards and after you'd had your tea and then you went back again. Cause, uh, I mean those are the days we all sat and have our tea in front of a, for a, in a proper room and whatever else. I do try and do that still actually with my family. We do try and we do try and eat together. Um, um, on a regular basis, we do have to turn off a few devices though nowadays, especially for my daughter. Turns up with the switch and the and the and the mobile phone. <laughs> Gonna turn those off. But 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 we do we do try and eat together quite frequently. It's not it's not uh, it's not complete sort of um, 
you know, left in, in, in limbo kind of thing, so. I'm just lo loading here. See if we've got anything more on this tape, this side. We're just, the, the play button is pressed. Nothing so far, but you never know. Maybe get some voices from the past. That's a possibility. It's been a better Sony tape, I have to admit. I've been much more impressed by this tape than I have by the previous side. There's a little there's a little tape thing on the back of it um, that somebody's put on the back of the tape. I think I flipped it up at the beginning. And it's got like a little C written on it, which is like where the computer bits go up to, I believe. I might not have flipped it over, but if I didn't flip it over, there's like a little C. I guess it's where the computer stuff goes up to. So we're playing. Nothing so far. I'm going to fast forward a little bit because I was a little bit... Oh, go fast forward. I'm just fast forwarding. No sound so far. No sound so far. We are, we are very quiet. We have silence. I'm going to fast forward a bit more. See if we can get anything in here. Nope, silence. Oh, that's okay, that's okay. It's about a, 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 about a third of the tape, which has not got anything in it. This must have been the Tato Classics. Tato. The other side's probably got Bubble Bobble and a few other awesome games on it. That'd be awesome, wouldn't it? F thank goodness for this in comparison to last week. Oh, and, and any of you who stuck through that, thank you very much. God, you've got such patience, mind you, to be fair. I put the time in as well, so 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 we all got through it together. It was, it was all painful. I had to stop it as well, didn't I? And I did a little, little editing for 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 testing and doing some tape tape, tape re edits. I should go old school one day, you know. I was just thinking about this. I should go old school one day. Get the old uh, fourteen inch telly out and put the spectrum on it. That'll be cool, I think. I use it for my Sega Saturn actually, so I can use light guns. Okay, so I really miss light guns. So boring. I keep going on about the same things. Right, that's definitely nothing else on that tape. I've fast forwarded almost to about the end of the tape. Right, I'm going to push the rewind button and we'll see if we get the remainder of this thing. And we'll see if there's any more games on this. I'm hoping we've got another good side actually. That was a good. That was a good start for the side actually. I'm. I'm I was very, very pleased with that one. Very pleased indeed. Okay, I'm pressing the player button. We are going for it. Fingers crossed. We have something else. May have to close curtains. <laughs> now they're already closed. <laughs> what about, who am I kidding? Here we go. Oh, excellent. What we got? Slap fight! <gasps> yes! Another classic! Oh! Oh, seriously, who made this tape? It's brilliant! <laughs> the extra points! Brilliant! I love Slap Fight. Slap Fight's one of my favourite sort of shooters that's really, really tough. Um, I'm rubbish at it. It's another shoot 'em up and I'm really rubbish at it. But I'm, I'm, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite enamoured, enamoured by it. I, I, I think it's because um, when I was at, when I was at sort of school, uh, a lot of my friends liked Slap Fight a lot and uh, I had Slap Fight. Um, I think I had a special version of Slap Fight, um, and I had Slap Fight, and we used to just play Slap Fight together quite a lot, and we'd, we'd you know, one after the other, because I think it's, I don't think you can play at the same time, no, can't do that, and um, we used to play it together, and we, and we used to take turns sort of playing it, and, um, and just quite enjoyed it, and there were some of my friends were really, really good at it, and I mean, I, I wasn't very particularly good at it, but, uh, but I think this is another Tato, actually, I think Slap Fight's another Tato. Sorry, coffee. I hope you've got yourselves a, a, a brew, actually, and you, you, you're sitting back and relaxing. Um, but uh, yeah, I, 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 it was just some of my friends were really, really good at it, and I, I just, I just really liked Slap Fight. Uh, I'm just a bit sad that my my copy of it actually doesn't work. <laughs> uh, the tape's case is split. To be honest with you, I have got no. I say that doesn't work. My original one, the big jewel box, which looks fantastic, doesn't load. My one in the uh, my what my um, my hit squad version of it which I think um, 
Um, good old Dave B sent to me again. Uh, thank you, Dave, by the way. You get a little bit of credit in this one, to be honest with you. Um, he's returning shortly with another video, I'm told, anyway. Um, but... Um, Dave B has uh, he sent me the sent me a whole batch of, uh, of, of 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 hit squads when he scored the most amazing score with the Adams Family um, values for the Spectrum the hit squad version of it in a little package and I'm sure he only paid a sort of I think he paid couldn't have paid more than thirty quid for it all um, and he, he it was an absolute score he kind of made an offer to the bidder he thought never thought they would accept it and they accepted this thirty quid um, and he sent me over there to have a little look and I managed to get a couple of uh, good ones as well to be honest with you um, but he he did really well out of that one actually and the, the bidder um, all crowd to the bidder they they all the, the, the bidder the, the seller they they did they did um, they did certainly did um, honour the sort of um, offer acceptance that they made so so. Um, yeah, no, he did really well out of that one. Um, sometimes you win on eBay, sometimes you win well. But uh, yeah, but it, we got quite a few other hit squads with it, and he sent quite a lot of those, quite a lot of those over to me. Uh, I'm, as I say, I'm not a hit squad collector. I can't, I can take it or leave it. I, as I say, I have very few complete collections um, of of anything, to be honest with you. I, I, I don't think I'm never going to get a complete collection of um, Nintendo DS games because if you've ever played, oh god. I, I don't even know why I bought it, and I bought it. I played it the other day. I bought. Um, <sighs> it's almost too embarrassing for words. I bought No Ledman's Teleaddicts. Yeah, I know. Just it's all right. Judge me, judge me. I deserve it. Um, I bought No Ledman's Teleaddicts. It's absolutely atrocious. And do you know what? It's dated so badly because. It's only relevant to anybody born in the last sort of 20 years because the Nintendo DS has been out since 1999, I think it was. I certainly got one round about... Uh, was 99? No, not 99. 2004, maybe? 2003? Can't remember. It's not been. It's been around a good number of years. It's about 15 years old, I would say, at least. All right. Um, so it's basically it's one of these games, that, and it was just a cash grab, I guess. They must have just done it for a tenner or a five or whatever else. It's now bought it in a charity shop for for fifty p or something like that, and uh, it's it's oh, it's terrible. It's got like TV clips in it, and and when you win the game, or when you when you finish the game, and and you do finish the game, um, nothing happens. Quite literally, nothing happens. It, it's the most. Uh, un unexciting game ever if you get 100% you just get a well done from no Edmonds and if you don't do it you basically get um, you could have done better and that's it and it's like little video clips of no Edmonds it's just terrible 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 game right here's slap fight and they basically pick up these things to um, generate your specials and bits and pieces so let's pick this up oh I've made space the wrong thing to be honest with you I've space is also the activate button to activate the the weapons ah and I've basically done the, the the wrong thing here so so I've got I've basically activating everything on the side of the screen so I should have made it like um the, the the M key or something like that for space so I'm going a bit too fast for even my liking so my speed's like super fast now look at him can't do any more speeds thankfully so it'll be shot next uh, it's done side oh it's just terrible it's just terrible ah oh, I'm so fast but it's a good game. It's just a shame I've made it so fast. Let me just let me. Um, once I die, I'm going to change the keys again. We'll do. We'll, ch we'll make an alteration to the keys, and we'll we'll do we'll do we'll do different keys. Um, so we'll make, we'll make it space. It's very com similar to the arcade. Follows the, sort of the same sort of things. Usual stuff though for the specy. We've got the uh, the the monochrome screen. Um, it's 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 uh, it's ah. It's it's it's. it's the, the, to just to do avoid the sort of colour clash. Um, the only problem with monochrome screen is it's very hard to see the little um, shots firing across the screen. Um, sometimes you can just you just collide with them without without realising. I think don't think they can kill you when you go over them. No, they don't. It's only the shots that kill you. So that's which isn't so a bad thing. Let's let's make an alteration here to the to the to the. Right. Let's change the keys. Zero. Right. Let's make this uh, up, down, left. Right. Let's make M fire, and let's try it again. So that so so, so it's a little bit easier this time around. So I can control the speed. So I'm not going to choose speed. I'm going to choose side there, like that. So I get side firing weapons. 
don't really need speed on the Spectrum version. You do on the arcade. The arcade is really important to get the speed up, but Spectrum version sort of flies around anyway, so you don't really need it. Um, or I don't think you need it anyway. I should have got the wings there. I was going to power up for the wings. Whoa, whoa, whoa! It's just the shots that get you. Need it on the joystick, really. Should have put the joystick in. Joystick would have been easier. Got it handy anyway. Got Competition Pro today. That was sent to me by Daryl. Thank you, Daryl. Um, fancied that going that old school, that ball sort of top on them things. I, do you know what? The, that's an arcade question, really. If you were in the arcade, what did you prefer? Because you can get the you can get this little uh, sort of like I would I don't know what you call it, sort of skinny sort of pole type thing, rather than the round top thing. I, I personally prefer the round top. I think the round top is, for me, our round top on an arcade joystick is, is an arcade joystick. I don't I don't find the sort of skinny sort of uh, pole shaped one, which is kind of, uh, it's not angled, is it? It's just round. It's, it's a round tip would a little bit wider of the thing, so so I, I don't know. I I think I think I think I'm a I think that's where I'm at, aren't I? With it with with things. I think that's that's. I mean, when I've got my own arcade joystick or my own arcade joystick for for, for the um 20p arcade challenge, I use a, a round joystick. I think I I don't know. I just I think I prefer them. I think they're nicer. Never really tried the other one to be fair though. I think that's the other thing as well. It's never been one that actually came along and actually tried. So that was a good start. We had another one by Tato. As I say, Tato Collection. Amazing. Absolutely brilliant. Legend of Cage. Well, that can come off the list. So so we've just not got enough quite yet for an extras. But it's on the list for when we do do an extras. We've still got two teams. Bubble. Bubble, bubble. What did I say? We're getting the whole range of games here. I can't believe it. I bet Rainbow Islands is on here too. Who's, whoever made this tape up was an absolute genius. I wonder if they've got. I don't know how many games ever came out from Tato on this on this on the spectrum, but this could this could this could be the complete collection. And this this one, this is just an absolute stormer on the specy. It really is. It's a brilliant game. I really love Bubble Bubble. Bubble Bubble is one of those fantastic things about the eighties and the and, and arcade games. And and do you know some arcade games nowadays still the same sort of thing? If you're not killing things, you're eating things, or you're matching colours and some kind of puzzle things, um, or racing something. I guess there's a sort of beat em ups and shoot em ups and races and, and puzzles and 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 platformers. I guess this is a platformer, isn't it? But 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 you get a lot of eating in this. It's lots of fruit eating, and, and that's the big the big thing about this is about eating lots and lots of sort of various creatures and and you burst you bubble up little creatures. You throw them into a bubble. You bub and bob, um, and you're going to be rescuing. I think your girlfriend, aren't you? I, I always thought they were trying to become. Um, something else they become human, but they do become human for Rainbow Islands, which is kind of a weird one. I would have actually, would you have preferred it to have been the dinosaurs? I don't think the dinosaurs would have worked so well though, because of their little short legs. Because they're kind of a little flat, aren't they? The, their bottoms are on, when you see it, when you play it, the, the bottoms are kind of like glued to the floor, whereas Bub and Bob as, as little, hum, little fat humans kind of worked alright, I think. It's just a bit weird, isn't it, really? Don't know. Good game though. This is an amazing game. I got this. I've got this. Um, I've got this as the the du double dual case uh, myself, and I have the hit squad version of it. Of course, you know you have to. Um, it's and, oh, another another Firebird as well. Maybe it's a Firebird collection. This is a really good game though. This is. I really love this. I you got <laughs> the arcade version is brilliant. It's out. It, it's been. It's. It, at the measure of success of a game or a character, endearing characters. Um, has to be how often they are translated from format to format to format. With probably the exception of the PC world, because the PC world you can get things that go back. And you don't, to be fair, I don't know if I've, I've never looked, to be honest with you, to see whether there's a Tato collection on the PC or not. But these characters have made it through generations after generations and generations. I mean, they they quite literally, I don't, they, the Buster Move was on the, the which is basically this, these little guys doing a puzzle matching game. Buster Move was on definitely on the PlayStation 1. Um, it was on the Sega Saturn. Um, it appeared, I think, 
the bubble bobble will, will appear i think on 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 the saturn as well um and it was in, it's enduring it's kept on going it keeps on appearing in different formats it plays on playstation 2 which means it's also on the xbox um it also plays on um playstation 3 it plays on the uh, xbox 360 there was a variation a rematched version of that where you could have up to four players in the same game it's such an enduring franchise yeah, I mean, I'm sure everybody remembers it and everybody shouts about it. But but you, yeah, I think the thing is, you would, would you would no, it's just enduring and it's survived. I mean, my daughter's played this. Daughter's played it, but when it was on the the Xbox 360, she she played that with me and really enjoyed it. And she still does enjoy games like this. And it's just enduring. There are lots of enduring. Characters. Pac-Man's the same. Pac-Man's been everywhere. Pac-Man keeps on reappearing in some new format or some kind of competition run run thing. They they're just enduring. They're beautifully sort of staple um, characters that that. That have transcended the twenty plus years, you know, forty plus years, thirty plus years. I mean, when did Bubble Bobble come out? Eighty six. Still going in twenty twenty. It's still here. It's still here in one way or the other. It has been on so many formats. You can't believe it. It's even been on the Game Boy. It's just, it's just an enduring set of characters. Right, one for keyboard. These are mine. Left, right, via jump. Yes. And then we'll put Sinclair for the second one. Right, okay. I don't think we've got music though, because I didn't put it on, on, on the thing. So one to play, six credits. Here we go. So this is us. Little 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 uh bubble bob. And then we have to bubble up these guys and then pop them. And then we eat their their guts. <laughs> Which happens to be fruity in its flavour and then we used to stand next to the wall just at the right point where you could pop them and get 20 points per bubble uh, 10 points per uh, bubble so here we go this is great with two players by the way this is the fantastic game we used to play this all the time back in the day we were we were well into it and there's other special items that appear it's not so nice without the music though i do miss the do 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 Yes, that's a special thing. Basically, got to clear the room of all these within time, and you get a bonus point for how many you clear. Here we go. I think we've got them all. Perfect. Extra points for that. Look at my score. Massive already. The levels are spot on. The gameplay is spot on. It just works so well. You can even jump on the bubbles. It's just really, really good. And you collect the letters for, for whatever else is. You pick, get, pick these up and you can get big things. And then oh, ice lollies. And oh, this is a great game. This is really good. It really is. And it plays so well in Spectrum. We used to play for this for hours. Again, I'm not sure that I had a <clears throat> an official version of this as a kid, but 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 uh, you would you would, you you could have been forgiven for 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 taking a making a a special version of this, I would think, just because it's so good. It really is, it's fantastic. He's on the mad mode now. It's because I've killed all his buddies. I think I just picked up a a, a teapot. Yeah, I picked up a teapot, and the teapot is giving me longer and faster fire. Um, it was a red teapot, and that's what they used to do. We used to get put those up now. I need to wait for a bu bu bubble here. There's a water bubble. You see it at the top? We need, need to get up there, and we need to pop a water bubble. There we go. And you get extra... Oh, I'm going to get diamonds out of it. Nope, got one. Is he going to get cross now? Yeah, he is. There's a sweetie. Get the sweetie. Yellow sweetie is faster fire, I think. Yep, faster fire from yellow sweetie. So we get a yellow sweetie. I don't think it's ever cropped up on the. It's amazing how many of these games haven't cropped up on the on 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 what's on tape before. I'm surprised Bubble Bubble has not popped up before. Um, I don't think it has. I think this is the first first occasion this has turned up on the thing. We used to call those. Oh, what do we call those things? We used to have like funny, strange names for them as a kid. I don't know why, but we used to call them different things. I don't know whether they were the, the official arcade names, or whether they just it was just things that we made up as kids. And I can't remember what we used to call those. I'm sure this one was called Nitty Nora, but I think that's the official name for one of them, to be honest with you. 
I think. Don't have my last life now. That's a great game. A Spectrum Classic. There, all at once. See if I can get an extra bonus. Sometimes you get these things that allow you to do jump different things. One of the big ones to do was to jump the uh, was to get the umbrella, and that would jump your levels. There's a hundred stages. Um, very well. This is where it's such a well constructed game. It really is. It's just it's just you know. And the worst, the the most interesting thing about it is I'm, I'm going to assume that because it's I think it's Mike Folan, Foley, who's who's created it. I think he he he's done this all. I think it was created and developed by him completely himself. And if he did, then he's an absolute superstar because he's done the graphics and everything, you know. And it's 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 damn near perfection for an arcade conversion. There aren't very many that you can actually say that they're, they're as good as, as Bubble Bobble. Bubble Bobble is an absolute classic. Um, yeah, they fire biscuits. We used to call them biscuits. Ah! Have I hung again? Ah! I'm not having a good time here. I don't think keep keep hanging. It's my spectrum on the way out. No! Yeah, the screen went green and everything stopped. It's a bit warm today. Can't be that warm for a specky. Come on, little spectrum. Oh, I was enjoying that. Got to the wobbly bit of that. Let's carry on though. Let's see what else we got on here. That's just, 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 just naughty. Don't be naughty with me. Got a little bit of play out of it, and then we, we, we got, we went, we went pop. Let's see what else is on here. This is a good tape, actually. It's been an amazing tape. So much on here, so many good memories as well. So many, so you know, some Rastan being one that was a big memory for me. I didn't, as I said, I didn't have Flying Shark back in the day, but I definitely had Slap Fight and I definitely had um, Bubble Bobble. Brilliant games. I used to play them all the time with my friend. Um, he had, he was an Amstrad CPC user, and I was always kind of a little bit looked down on him and his Amstrad CPC because he had the green screen, and I never realised how good the quality of the graphics were actually once until he did that. Till he did that, this would be Akronoid probably. So we're, we're, as I say, full on tight, full of Tato thing. But yeah, I never realised until till till I got an Amstrad CPC myself how how gorgeous the palette is on there and how how lovely the games are. You know, in in um, some are a bit slow. Uh, this is down, uh, I think, memory more than anything else. You know, the amount of space that's involved in it, and it has a little bit of a problem with uh, with with scrolling a little bit. But still, but it's like everything else. They have quirks. It's like Spectrum has its quirks, I and mean, the quirk of the fact that you know it was designed with text in only in, in its mind you know and the, the colour clash that would be involved in it I mean if they designed it with graphics in mind um, which I think they probably could have done you know if, they, if they're taking a wee bit of time I, but I, I that was Sir Clive though that was I don't think he's a games player. That's the thing. I don't think. I don't think. I. I don't think he can. And 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 if we want, if you watch the dramatization, and I know it's dramatized, um, um, micro micro men, which is a crass cracking sort of, uh, um, uh, uh, sort of documentary. You can find it on the easily on YouTube if you look for micro men and Sir Clive and whatever else. So do a quick, quick quick search for it and find it. It's, you know, he 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 states that he's not particularly chuffed about the fact that he's devices and sort of represented by Jet Set Willy um, but it was where everybody went because it was cheap enough to do so um, this gave access to a lot of children um, the, 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 the ability to access um, cheap games and cheap software and although that became the majority of it also created some of the um, greatest programmers the, the the world has seen you know um, that were the well I say that but they, they did it created some of the best programmers some of the best programmers came out of some of the the most enduring names that that, that, that are there and I say it, 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 it just one of those just one of those lovely things about the spectrum and we we love the we and the spectrum users we we, we accept and I guess even love the color clash it's there and we we accept those things it's the thing that happened it's the thing that uh, that the that, that, that occurred as part of the whole spectrum thing you know it, it it's it's there and we're gonna live with it and um, we're gonna live with it forever you know imagine a game where it didn't actually occur it would be really weird, I think. I think watching a Spectrum game where you didn't get Colour Clash would be kind of weird. There is a modern day game, I can't remember its name. 
where they where they did a very where they did versions of it and it had like a spectrum filter and a and a, a Nintendo Entertainment System filter and I can't remember its name off the top of my head something bros it's about princess in space and she's rescuing from a planet or something similar it's a modern day um, game and, and as I say very weird for with the feel of 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 sort of non color I don't think it has color clash in it and so it's a bit weird realistically it just it just feels it doesn't feel wrong it just feels different and it feels like what you'd like to have had back in the day but we we put up with it and I think that's the same with the Amstrad CPC users they they um and there's a lot better stuff coming out now by the way some of the modern homebrew stuff's really really good but they expected that they kind of like, they expected some of the issues with the with the clunkiness of the the, the way it scrolled across the screen that was that was kind of the thing you expected it. I'm sure the Commodore 64 has some some subtle um, quirks as well that cause cause issues for it. To be honest with you, and uh, it wasn't it wasn't all powerful and all perfect. To be honest with you, so so so. I think my major issue with it is probably the palette. So there there's the thing. You know, if Spectrum could lose anything. It would be I, I I'm cool with the palette by the way on the thing. If Spectrum could lose anything. It would be color clash. That would be the thing. That would be the thing that I would get rid of with the Spectrum. Um, the Commodore 64, I would have turned up the palette to maximum. Um, I would have made it right brighter. That's what I would have fixed, it, fixed with that. And the, the 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 good old Amstrad CPC, I think I would have fixed the uh, the the. Um, I think I would have fixed the, um, the, the 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 actual the screen scrolling I think that's what I would have fixed with that so that it would have been the games would have run much better and much more smoothly so those are the things I would have fixed so so the palette on the Amstrad CPC is <gasps> sublime anyway right okay I've pressed the space bar this is basically it's the mothership thing after the mothership Arkanoid was destroyed a craft scrambles away Venus do, 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 do. it's something called Doe isn't it the bad guy's called Doe so, um, what's my left and right? Ah! There's my left and right. I think I've got my left and right now. There we go, left and right. So basically it's break, ball, um, break the wall. So the idea is to get to the next level, you have to break the wall. Um, I quite like the way it has a little it has a little zippy thing that kind of slows you down when you get to where the ball may be appearing isn't that have you noticed so so when you launch it the ball watch oh damn it's not a good example because I'm doing badly um but you kind of it kind of zips you across the screen a little bit oh, Oh, it slows you down at a certain point. That was really rubbish. What an example that was. I was rubbish, wasn't I? I was telling telling Porky's, Oh, you can skip it finally by pressing space. I had no idea. So, yeah, bat and ball. Mr. Laser there. That's handy. So we basically bat and ball our way through it. Another one of Tato's hits. I'm very, very acutely aware, by the way, that I'm saying Tato wrong at this point. <laughs> I feel bad. It's like potato. <laughs> oh. Excellent. I want that laser. I want that laser. And I didn't know the guy had time to get the laser. It reminds me of Through the Wall. I always remember that from the, the thing. That was one of the first games I loaded. Oh, I've got to do that for you as well. I keep meaning to do the Horizons tape. And I haven't done it yet. You must forgive me. Well, maybe not. But if you but, but if but if you do feel like forgiving me, that would be nice. Oh, now they've got the aliens coming down. And they get in the way and they're really annoying. Let's see if I can get this ball up on the top. There we go. That's the way I want to be. Yes. Getting extra points. That's what you wanted. You always wanted it to do that. Get up on the top and get, go for it. Oh, rubbish. So rubbish at it. Come on. Let's move on. Oh. Was naff at that. Didn't even get Didn't even get a high score. Let us go on. And I actually got that for the DS recently as well. As I said, I was on a bit of a rampage for, uh, for, for, for Tato games. Because there are actually so many of them. There is a... Yeah, Arkanoid DS it's called. I haven't tried it yet, but uh, there is an Arkanoid DS. I also got um, Freedom Wings as well by another 
um, Chin Japanese firm. Sorry, not Chinese, Japanese firm. Very interesting, and, and to be fair. Here we go. Let's see what's next. It's exciting. Brace yourselves. This is the side where it says computer up to this point, see up to this point. So maybe, 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 maybe we've got a little bit of history as well. I'm hoping for that. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll think else. Oh! Monte Carlo! Oh! Uh, no idea! Was there a Monte Carlo um, Tato game? If not, that this is the first one that's not a Monte Carlo. Or this isn't the first one that isn't a isn't isn't a Tato game. That's exciting. This this is very exciting. This has been a good tape. There's been some heavy hitters on here, though. You know, if you if you talk about the games that were 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 big sort of high quality ones, these these were some of the some of the big ones here. We've we've had some of the the big name ones. It's amazing though to think how 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 enduring. Tato itself has been though. I mean, it's still there. It's still, it's still, it still survives to this day. I don't know what it creates though. Does it create anything modern? As in, I, 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 I don't. That was a bit of a loaded statement. Not, not, not modern. It creates anything new? I don't know. Or does does it just public? But or is it just public? If that, you know what I mean. Just sort of. Um, what, what's the word I'm looking for here? No, this is Codemasters. I've not played Monte Carlo at, at Casino before. Um, uh, you know anything? They must do. They must publish some stuff nowadays. They can't still be ru running on their original IP. I suppose they can be. Considering how enduring we've, we've said this already is. There's a possibility, I suppose. Monte Carlo Casino. Not, not played this one before. I'm just looking at the skyline there. And the streets of rage on it. Do, 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 do. I can't remember the music actually. I'm trying, and it's in my head, but I can't get it out of my mouth. You know that that uh, that initial sort of sound as it scrolls down, and with the text telling you about Mr. Big and the Syndicate and all that kind of stuff, and and then it rolls down, and then the three initial, you know, Adam, Axel, and and Blaze appear. It's and it's and it's there in front of you. Yeah, Adam, Axel, and Blaze. She's 21, Axel's 22, and Adam's 23. Weird, isn't it? Not just weird in the sense of that the, the, the way they kind of just numbered them that kind of way. That makes uh, Axel in the new one 31, or is he older than that? Because we've had a couple of years with the with the other stuff. No, because it'll be com it'll be end of the last one. No, ten years from the end of the last one. So when did the last one appear? Was it 94 or five? So this is Street Strafe 3. So it probably makes him about 35, 36. Yeah, probably about right. It's probably taken him that long to, run, to, to, to grow that beard. I know how he feels. It took me until the 40s to get one. <laughs> this guy grows a beard. <laughs> Ten years where I couldn't do a sequel before that. He actually had to grow a beard. <laughs> and get a dad bod. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna guess this is slots and something like that. You know, slot machines, um, roulette, uh, whatever that one's called. The craps, craps. They call it craps, don't they? It's, it's the where they roll the dice. I've never played that one. Don't understand. I don't even understand the rules of that one. Rolling dice to, to putting things on there. It's almost like Dungeons and Dragons with more money. <laughs> Imagine the Dungeons and Dragons is paid for cash. That'll be a totally different game altogether. So, yeah, I don't know. Don't, don't, don't know that one. Don't know this game. No idea what it is. Do you know what? I think it's probably the first one of the lot though that hasn't had a timer on it. I think all the others have had a timer, haven't they? Sort of telling us how long before they're loaded. This can must be near the end of their their, their generation of games as well. I I I feel that this is near the end of the 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 the, the, the spectrum end of the the, the, the Codemasters run on the spectrum. I don't recognise it. It's not a game that I don't know if this is in my collection or not. Probably uh, may or may not be. I say I was going to say probably yes, but but I do you know some I'm not sure. I'm not very good about uh, sorting things. 
Right. Game waffle. Space. What's waffle? Waffle. Code design. Pete Williamson. Graphics by C. Graham. Music by D. Whitaker. He did a lot of music actually. By the same and um, um, author of Super Stuntman Big Max. Yeah. Okay. Push the button. Make it go faster. Very good. Choose the game. Game. Ah, there you go. So space is it? I wonder what the keys are. Oh no. Ah. Is it Q A O P in space? Yeah, it's Q A O P in space. Right. Okay. So we have roulette, blackjack, poker, uh, jackpot, which is obviously the thing, um, and we've basically got a few things here. Um, there's there's craps there. What about that then? Don't even know how to play it. Should we should we should we do something I do know how to play? I do know how to play poker as well. I bet I can absolutely destroy the game on that. Um Let's do a bit of blackjack. I'm shuffling, okay. Stake. How much are we gonna put onto it? Let's bet two thousand. Start. Right, uh, he's got seven, I've got I've got either six or sixteen. I'm gonna twist. That gives me another card. That gives me sixteen. I'm gonna stick. Vila wins. Oh what a surprise. Right, okay, let's change my stake to a to a thousand. Let's start. So you gotta get twenty one basically. If you've never played your black chuck before, you gotta get twenty one. I've got twenty one. I win. Does he get to see my cards? I must do. I wonder what buy is. Let's buy a better card or something like that. Race of stakes, yeah. Oh, what we at there? 14, 19. I'm going to stick. Dealer wins. Typical. <laughs> what a surprise. Dealer wins. Right, okay, let's quit that one. Uh, let's play. Let's play craps. I don't know how to play craps. I'm gonna bet. Two stake, thousand. Uh, one past the line. Field. What's one past the line? I have no idea. Point is five. Twelve. Lose. No idea how that works. Anybody know how craps works? Anybody ever play craps? I've not played craps before. Roulette. Let's go for the jackpot thing. Let's put some money in here. Let's do that for the fun of it. Let's put some money in. Thousand in. And we could win $2. Hooray! We've lost some money. Let's put another one in. I don't feel that this is a very good uh, place to be. Right, we'll go back. That didn't do very well there. One more roulette. We'll bet, we'll bet, we'll bet the, bet the, the lot. I'm going to choose the whole lot. We're going to go all in. Evens. So it's. I'm going to. I'm going to bet on black. And spinning. It's quite nice though. I like the. I like the look of it. I think. Uh, I think with the, the the four or five games here, I probably would have been. Kind of cool with this. I think I would have liked it. I won. I bet on on that. It was fifteen black, so I won. Yeah, so so basically better than the wheel spinning in the middle there. We can't actually see what's going on the wheel. That's actually quite good. I quite like that. It's not bad at all. I think if I think if I was I was let's have a look at the let's have a look at the the only one we didn't look at was poker. Let's have a little look at the poker. Let's see how it does. Is it what kind of poker are we playing here? Is it going to give us all? Um, what have we got here? What have I got? Have I got anything? I've got a pair. I've got a pair. Stay. Dealer calls. Drop unwanted cards. Okay, let's drop those unwanted cards. Ready? Right, okay. Let's bet. Another 2,000. Dealer calls. I have one pair. Yes, it's Jacks though. 
dealer wins I hadn't got a very good hand there so actually not running the river or doing any kind of um, Texas Hold'em with it that's just literally that's old school po poker that is where you drop out some cards you get you get seven seven cards was it there five cards five cards um, draw and you take out some at some point and you're basically looking for a full house total of pairs uh, you know uh, three of a kind four of a kind that kind of stuff so it's not a bad way of playing poker but i have to admit i like a river you know what i mean so you've got basically a set of cards in the center and it kind of builds up as you go each time you play I prefer, prefer that kind of poker but that's not bad poker that's really quite good i quite enjoyed that one monte carlo um monte carlo um, casino i'm thinking rally monte carlo casino i like really like that one i, I wonder if i've got it in my collection if i haven't I'll, i'm gonna go do, looking for that one that's that's one to actually have that's one to that's one to own Weird, isn't it? I quite like this. I don't. I'm not a big gambling person, but I don't mind playing it computer-wise. I think it's fun. You know, buy the old lottery ticket and all that kind of stuff. But but uh, play a little bit of poker with friends and all that. But usually you set mountain with that. You know, it's like tenner buy-in. That's what it is. You know, and you get two thousand chips or something similar. And then, and and if you lose it all, you can buy in again. But obviously, it just goes into the big old pot at the end. And if you win the pot back, you've you've got it. You know, that's that kind of thing. Nothing nothing harsh when it comes to 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 to, to sort of um, poker or anything like that. Nothing nothing terribly exciting. So, right. I am playing. And we're we're playing, and we're we're up to we're not quite up to the line, so I'm going to hope that there's something else here. Got the play button pushed, and we're going slowly. We might actually be ending on the poker. It's playing. It's playing, playing, playing. I'm going to fast forward. Shorter tape than I thought it was going to be, if this is it. This could be it, you know. That could be it. Wow. Oh, you're all really upset. Because we, we haven't gone on for three hours this time round. No, I think... I think... I think we, we are... We are... I'm going to push the, to take this out here, and I'll, I'm going to listen to it. I've played this all by the sensei, by the way, with the with the with the car adapter in there. Yeah, we're 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 up to that line that somebody's written on here saying computer up to this point. Wonder if there's any. Uh... Stop that one there. Let's see see let's see if there's any sound here. I think we're I think we're done. We have the sound of silence. Well. Well, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. I really enjoyed that one. That was a really good one. That was like a that was like a Tato special, wasn't it? it really was. Apart from that last um, Codemasters game, which is was really quite good to be honest with you. That was a nice combination. I can imagine though having quite a lot of fun with that one. I must 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 get a copy of that if I don't already have one. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for joining me, and I will see you next week. Bye now. <laughs>